So hi everyone, uh, my name is Marine Tirant. And yes, I'm obviously French, as you may hear, uh, but I'm also one of the product managers at Avinode. So today we're going to talk a lot about uh, trust and transparency. So creating, trans creating transparency and conveying trust uh, is key for most digital products. But this is even more true when talking about the Avinode marketplace, whose mission is to help connect thousands of air charter professionals across the globe every single day. So, in today's talk, I'm going to actually disclose you what used to be the number one feedback that we used to hear from our customers. I'm going to then walk you through some of the key um, product developments that we've done in the past uh, 12 months based on that customer feedback. And I will then finish off that presentation by giving you a sneak peek into what's coming next uh, in the Avinod product. So, make sure to stay until the end. <laughs> All right, but first, uh, what is Avinode for the ones that may not be familiar with uh, who we are and what we do? So Avinode is essentially the world's largest online marketplace that allows you to either source or sell um, charter trips. So we help connect around 1,300 uh, brokers and operators uh, based pretty much everywhere in the globe. And if we look at the actual number of users that do uh, go into our platform, we actually have close to 7,500 um, of them. Looking now in terms of uh, system activity, we can actually see that we have close to 25,000 searches being made every single day on Avinode. And looking now um, into the number of requests that get sent to operators, uh, we actually have around 1.6 million uh, requests every month. So, as you can see, there's quite a lot happening uh, on the Avinode marketplace. All right. So, I wanted to start with this uh, principle that we strongly believe in uh, at Avinode. So, for us, um, we really think that customer involvement uh, is definitely our most important resource uh, when building great products. So, that means that we actively listen to your feedback to both determine what we should put next on our product roadmap or product backlog. But we also value customer feedback in order to know how a feature should work or look like. So please make sure to keep that feedback coming because this is really a fuel uh, for us, I would say. But uh, speaking about customer feedback, uh, remember I told you that I would disclose you what uh, used to be the number one customer feedback that we got from uh, our yeah, customers. So before we actually go through the customer feedback per se, um, let me first give you some initial background around how Avinode has been working uh, over the years. So when Avinode was created, um, the idea is that uh, it should be entirely up to each operator to actually configure the offer and set up their pricing in the most uh, transparent and accurate way. And I mean, luckily, a lot of those operators do stick to that, right? Um, but we also noticed that a growing number of other operators were starting to intentionally uh, lowering their charter pricing in the Avinode marketplace uh, with the objective to um, attract more leads. And why is that, you may wonder? Well, in the vast majority of the cases, brokers uh, choose to sort their Avinode search results uh, based on price, right? So when a broker runs a search in Avinode, in the most majority of the cases, they will just consider the top 20 or 30 options to know to which operator they should send a request. So going back to the customer feedback now, um, what we used to hear quite a lot uh, from our brokers is that brokers felt like the um, the, the data that was provided in Avinode was not accurate at all uh, in terms of pricing, for example. And this is why they had to send lots of requests to be able to, by the end of the day, get to the best priced offer. Operators on the other side, or at least uh, a fair bit of um, operators, felt like, okay, Avinode, I mean, it's good. You ask me to keep my pricing accurate, right? And I mean, I, I would want to do that. But I mean, when I look at my uh, main competitors, everyone is actually um, like deliberately cheating with their pricing. So why should I keep my pricing accurate? So, I mean, down the road, the ask that we mostly picked up from both sides is that 
both brokers and operators wanted Avinode to uh, take a stance uh, based, I mean, based on that situation. They really wanted uh, us to, um, to show that we cared about it. And we obviously cared about it because, I mean, it's really indicated that our uh, marketplace was uh, losing uh, sort of value or was less and less trusted by our members. So this clearly raised the flag. So what did we do in our products in order to uh, address that customer feedback? Well, quite a lot of things, I would say, in the past uh, 12 months. So I'm just going to cover a few things that we uh, did. The first thing that we did was that we uh, actually made a few tweaks to how operators can configure their pricing in a more streamlined way, um, and taxes is an example of that. We also added uh, full support for the floating fleet business model, uh, which I will touch upon a bit later um, yeah, in this presentation. And uh, yeah, last but certainly not least, uh, we actually decided to take a quite a major step, and I would say quite brave step as well as we decided to change entirely how we should present the search results in Avinode. And so it is that we, a few months back, um, actually launched a brand new search algorithm in Avinode. So what's the concept behind that new search algorithm? So instead of just looking at each pricing as configured by operators themselves, we actually obviously use that price as the baseline but we also look at the actual quoting behavior that each operator or even each aircraft has had. And we sort of add uh, an adjustment on top of the operator price. So down the road, what uh, has it allowed? Well, so since we are now sorting the search results based on uh, these adjusted uh, prices, that actually means that uh, brokers can make more informed decisions as to what aircraft options they should pick. And I mean, to be fair, we are still uh, presenting uh, an estimate in the search results. But I mean, as you will be able to see uh, at a later on in the presentation, the estimate that we now produce is far better than what it used to be. So down the road, what it also created uh, is really a, a more fair marketplace where all operators really have the same chances to get that request. So for us, that was also important. Floating fleet um, is another example of area where we have invested quite a lot um, in the past 12 months. So as you know, floating fleet operators um, have a unique way of um, marketing their offer and pricing their offer. And we acknowledge that it was important for us to uh, support that business model if we wanted to provide that uh, accurate and transparent marketplace. So, what is it we offer to floating fleet operators? Well, so floating fleet operators uh, can actually fully customize their pricing uh, based on geographical and seasonal criteria to really match in Avinode how they really quote. Floating fleet can also display in the uh, aircraft search results um, a group instead of a specific tail, which also contributes to that level of transparency to, um, to brokers. All right, so. Now I've walked you through some of the changes we've done in the product, but the question is, what results has it, ha has it had um, in terms of, of data? So if we just look at the figures there, uh, we can see that uh, if we compare the prices that operators uh, configured in, their, uh, in the system and the prices they came back with when confirming the quotes, we have actually managed to see that now 75% of all the confirmed quotes are within a plus minus 10% uh, range. We can also see that uh, we've managed to, um, we've seen a drastic drop uh, in the number of confirmed quotes that came back way more expensive than the initial price uh, configured by the operator. And finally, we could see that we managed to double the number of um, uh, quotes that were just spot on, like uh, meaning that the price that the operator confirms was actually the same as the one advertised in search. But I guess you, you may wonder why is it important to have like accurate data? Well, I mean, let's um, remember that we are a sourcing marketplace. And I mean, as such, uh, being able to provide accurate data ultimately provides to more transparency. And I mean, transparency actually enables brokers and operators to uh, get matched in a better way and in a more easy, uh, easy way. 
Yeah, so what we could also observe uh, ever since we have implemented those major changes in the system is that uh, at the same time, we've seen that for the most part, our customers seem to have um, been very positive uh, regarding those changes. As we can see from that um, graph that indicates the, the level of uh, general um, customer satisfaction on the Avinode side that we have measured here with the net promoter score. Yeah, so ben, the, now that we have done all these changes, I guess, I mean, the most exciting part is to try to see where we are going next. So what are some of the cool things we are currently busy with uh, in the product team at Avinode? So, I mean, during that presentation, we've touched a lot about the importance of being able to, um, to, to match brokers and operators in a better way uh, at the sourcing stage. And I mean, obviously, this is important. However, we also believe that Avinode is much more than just a sourcing tool or a lead generator. I mean, down the road, I guess you will all agree that what really matters is to really make sure that you guys can really convert leads and actually close deals. Because this is what down the road brings the money in. <laughs> um, so what, what, what's the plan uh, in this regard? So, if you are an operator and are actively using our platform, you may have seen that we've started setting things in motion already. So what we did is actually making sure that you guys can focus uh, on your uh, active business first and foremost, and not so much on all the trips that will not convert. Something that we also uh, see as an opportunity is that um, when you're working with your trips, uh, it is important for you to sort of know what trips got booked or uh, get, got paid, right? So you don't want to be looking in different places or, or systems to uh, stay on top of that uh, information. So we are gradually uh, including more of this information into your trips view. Payment checkout is also another area where we are, um, where, yeah, that has kept us uh, pretty busy lately. So if you are a broker or an operator and you are signed up with Paynote, so, payment checkout essentially allows your clients to uh, pay you in their preferred uh, payment method. And that's essentially also a way for uh, you uh, to get paid in a very easy, professional and streamlined way. And I guess that was it for today. So, thank you for listening and I hope you have a nice show.